How does it feel to be a City fan at the moment, first of all? It's pretty incredible, to be honest. We're at Brentford today. We've got an FA Cup final next week against Manchester United. We've got a trip to Istanbul after that. It's, it's the days you save and it's what you've always wanted down from Division 2 up until this sort of this mega place in European and world football. It's, it's a, a little bit pinch me at the moment, to be honest. If they win the treble, I know a lot of people have been talking about this. Are they the best club side ever? <laughs> I think there's a, a group of fans down the road in, in Manchester who would probably say no, but you have to look at it. Obviously, Guardiola's won the treble before. That was an incredible achievement, but to become the second team ever to do it in English football would be fantastic, and in the current, uh, current climate of English football, even better so. So I'd go, yeah. How do you compare it? Can you compare it to that United team from 99? Probably not until they've won the trophies. I think, uh, you know, if I'm going to give United the, the credit, United won those trophies. City only have one at the moment. So there's still plenty of work to do for City. Two more wins, that's all they need from uh, sort of cement themselves in mortality. But if they do it, then I don't think anyone can really complain. We know how important the Champions League is for City. Does it mean more than a final against United, even if it's, it's the FA Cup? <laughs> Ask me that next Saturday, I think. <laughs> but um, uh, th there's a big debate at the moment whether City fans, if they could win one final, which one it would be. And, and I understand why City fans are saying that they'd rather beat United at Wembley at the moment. I think I'm on the fence. I take both, to be honest, at this point. How do you think this City team is going to be remembered in 50 years' time, say? As one of the best, you know, uh, you, City's got fantastic players, but that's not the be-all and end-all. We've seen Chelsea this season spend so much money on talent, which, quite frankly, has been a little bit useless at times. Guardiola's the man, and, and he gets the best out of players who previously have been written off at other clubs. One example I like to use, Manuel Akanji. Any club in Europe could have got in for £15 million. City went in, and he's played more minutes than any defender in the City team this year, so I'd, I'd say it's Guardiola, the man who gets the best out of the players. Can you see Pep making things even better even if you win the treble this year well, how, how do you top that where do you start well where do you go from that I suppose the quadruple would be the only thing left for him and, and he has hinted actually that there could potentially depending on how things go be a conversation to be had about leaving I don't think he will I think he's very much uh, he, he loves it in Manchester he's very settled his family enjoy it too so I think he's found a club where he's got the best resources let's no, make, make no mistake City have a lot of money and, and that's, that's perfect for Guardiola because he can get good players but he does get the best out of them so where can you go after the treble? Well, probably the quadruple. After that, I'm not too sure. And last one, moment of the season so far? Oh, that's a fantastic question. You know what, I'm going to go the victory against Arsenal at the Etihad Stadium because I thought that was probably the league decider. If City had been beaten there, Arsenal go into the final weeks on, on top. And that was the one where City really meant, cemented themselves in that title race, went above Arsenal, and from, on, from there on in, it's been pretty fantastic. Are City going to win the treble? Oh, I hope so. I hope so. Uh, it's easier said than done, though, isn't it? How long have you been following them? All my life. And so, if you're to do it this year and you win the treble, is it the best City team you've ever seen? Best team football's ever seen? I've seen better City teams in the last three or four years, to be, to be honest. Uh, a lot of City fans think it's the be-all and end-all to win the Champions League and... I don't buy into that. It's I'd rather win the Premier League every year than the chair the Champions League. So uh, and I'd rather beat United than beat Inter Milan, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Is that the one that matters? The FA Cup final means more to you than, than the Champions me, League? To me, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I couldn't bear coming down here and going home empty empty handed with them, if you know what I mean. If you do win the treble, is it a better treble winning side than the United team of 99? Everybody's talking about that at the moment. Well, they've already won it, haven't they? So, I mean, we haven't won it yet. So, until we win it, I'll answer that when we win it, if we win it. So, and until we win it, we're not, are we? Pep Guardiola, if you, if you could keep him for life, you could tie him down to a life contract, would you do that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's sensational, isn't he? Well, he's changed football, hasn't he? Uh, everything he does, everyone follows. Uh, you couldn't get a better coach. Moment of the season so far? Beating Arsenal 4-1 and putting them in the place. And then you knew you'd win the league? Yeah. Well, I always thought we'd win the league, but... <laughs> but yeah, because they, they'd won it at Christmas, hadn't they? Does it mean a lot to, to, to show them that City are still top dogs? 
Uh, not not so much them, more more United and Liverpool. Uh, if somebody else was going to win it, why not Arsenal? I'd rather they win it than United and Liverpool. Are you going to do it? Are you going to win the treble? Yeah, I can't say it. I can't say it. I literally can't. Because like I said, you know, City has the skill of like snatching defeat from victory. And I can't, uh, I just really can't say we are at this point. I feel like I'm going to jinx it. It'll be my fault. And so, If you had to pick one, would you pick winning the Champions League for the first time or beating Man United to win the FA Cup? Yeah, I would have to say Champions League. Honestly, if it's sort of like if we had to just like not turn up next week, I'd do, I'd do that in a heartbeat. I'd, even though it's going to be an exciting match, it just uh, I would definitely skip next week in order to get uh, for the tenth. If if you win the treble, is it better than the United team that won the treble in '99? Does it have the edge? I don't know. It's like that was an impressive team as well too. It, like in the states, we don't have like the intense rivalry that happens here uh, in England. So, uh, but I. We're a pretty impressive team. I mean, it's I've been following City for 30 years and watching them now. It's like this is quite possibly the best team I've ever seen them field. Just sum up, if you can, at the moment, what it's like to be a City fan going into these last couple of weeks. Relaxing for once. <laughs> um, we've come down here and normally we're on edge. And we did come because we thought we'd see them lift the trophy here. But it's actually quite nice to not be worrying what's so, going to happen. So no, no nerves? Not, not yet before no. the two finals? No, not well, well. Nervous well, about well the we've finals. got nervous about the finals. Not nervous yeah. about the Premier League for a yeah. change. We're nervous about next week and the week after, but today's nice. And Brentford's a lovely Relaxing. place to come. If you do win the treble this season, is that the best English club side there's ever been? If City can do it? In, your time. Uh, in my time, definitely. Um, I, I, I don't want to say anything about our neighbours just yet, not with the weekend <laughs> game coming up, so... Yeah, <laughs> I, I think it's, it is a fab, an absolutely brilliant team, and um, we're just lucky at the minute. But we have been there in the bad times, so we feel we deserve this. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have to pinch yourself when you think of the days in the second division? Every, and... time, every time, every yeah. time. Yeah, but then we do we do still sit there with 90 minutes and we're four 0 up, and we still think we're going to lose this. So it's, that's a city thing. <laughs> I think it? it's a, definitely a city thing. Yeah, but we love them dearly. If you had to pick one memory from this season that ranks as the best so far, maybe a lot still to come, but so far, what's been the best moment? Um, I think the atmosphere at the Real Madrid game. Yeah, definitely. It was, was unbelievable. It was just the whole, you know, and the fact that, you know, we could have lost it. We, we lost it last year, didn't we? But it was unbelievable. It was a great atmosphere. and You could sense the, the nerves at the start of the game. Yeah, and as it went on and on and on, it... You could you could yeah. see people enjoying it a bit more. And starting to book flights at our time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Last one message to the players ahead of the next couple of games. We just love them all. They're just amazing and good luck. And we'll be there. Be there. You'll be at both. I will. Yeah. You'll I'll be at, I'll be at Wembley. But I'll be at both. You'll be at both. Yeah. yeah. Your message to the players. Just go out and do what you've done all season. Play it as another game and just carry on doing what they're doing. They're amazing. Win or lose, we're still going to be there. Yeah.